restaurant inspections. Right now, it's up to the Department of Health to make sure those establishments are up to code and not violating any regulations. But the price tag for those inspections is getting to be too expensive. Governor Kachiri suggests the food industry police itself to help cut down on the deficit. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Hogan joins us live with more in-depth coverage on the economy. Well, it's certainly no secret state health inspectors are stretched very thin. With that, the Hospitality Association has just started a new self-inspection program in restaurants to keep food safe and customers coming back. With 8,000 restaurants in the state and only seven inspectors to inspect them, well, do the math. Many restaurants simply aren't getting health inspections. We do the best we can with the resources that we have. Ernie Julian, head of the Department of Food Protection, says with so few inspectors, they do prioritize where they have the greatest hazards to health. I want it to be at 140. And again, 145. Leaving many restaurants like Twin Oaks and Cranston to do self-inspections, executive chef Bill Smith says the staff here is constantly in training for food preparation and food safety. Quality control, checking even, you know, the trucks coming in, make sure though those are refrigerated, make sure everything coming in the door is, you know, not uh, expired either. The Rhode Island Hospitality Association says restaurants can now sign up for a new program that does not take the place of state inspections, but instead keeps individual restaurants on top of the latest food safety regulations. And if they wanted to do their own self-inspection program, um, then they could certainly contract out with us and we would go in and do a private inspection with them. Now, unlike the state health inspections where enforcement action can be taken, the association can simply train and instruct restaurants, but it is certainly better than doing nothing. Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.